How's it going, everybody? Got a quick funny story for you. Uh, probably won't take take me too long to spit it all out, but um, as most of you know, I live in the Wisconsin or the Milwaukee area. Actually, I live about a half an hour south of it. So if you were to look at between Chicago and Milwaukee and put a dot right in between, that's pretty much where I live. Um, Lake Michigan is about 10 miles east of where I live. Um, so I, where I go to school, I'm actually able to look out over the lake. And uh, when it's summer, summertime, it's pretty nice. When it's wintertime, it can be kind of cold, especially by the lake. It's actually colder by the lake than it is um, inland, farther, or inland as we call it. But anyway, um, there is this place. Uh, most of you know of, you know, Orlando has the water parks in downtown Orlando, uh, International Drive. I used to live in Orlando, actually, so I'm pretty familiar with them. I, uh, I'm up in the Dells, and the Wisconsin Dells are a water park attraction area. It's actually a small little town. Uh, during the off season, there's maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred people maybe that live there, and during the summertime, it can grow to you know several hundred thousand. It's kind of like Sturges for Bike Week, but um, doesn't have quite the uh, the biker feel, if you will. Uh, and I'm not dogging on Sturges because, you know, I, I'm the as much of a biker fan as everybody else is. But uh, I'm, I'm up there in the Dells, and my brother-in-law happens to have a, he owns a camper. And so it's one of those tow behind, like 30 foot long, you know, motel on wheels, if you will. Not quite an RV, but, you know, it's, it's still, it's a pretty nice trailer. And uh, so we were up there, and now mind you, I'm a network engineer. So I deal a lot of the times with, you know, a lot of uh, complicated issues. So I work full time for a large Fortune 500 company as a network engineer for them, and working my way up to a senior network engineer. And I also do side consulting. So I'm up at the camper. You know, we have the uh, the awning pulled out. We got the fire going. You know, it's about 8:30, 9 o'clock at night. You know, we're grilling out. You know, got uh, about to throw a movie on up in you know in, in the trailer and. Uh, off the laptop, and you know we're, we're we're having fun. You know the kids are doing their thing. My phone rings, and uh, I don't recognize the number, but it's it's a local area code for the uh, Wisconsin and Illinois area, and because there's only about a half a dozen of them, so once you learn what they are, you know kind of the area that's calling you from. And so I look at the caller ID, and my wife goes, "Well, who is it?" I was like, "I don't know. I don't recognize the number." And uh, she goes, "Well, answer it." So I go, "Hi, this is Rob," and the person on the other end of the phone is they're in like a state of panic and I'm like hi I found your number you're uh, you do some work for a friend of mine da 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 starts giving me this long spiel and I'm like okay and now mind you I'm not in the greatest coverage area the Dells aren't known for their um, they, they really don't have good cell coverage uh, so he's kind of breaking up a little bit here and there so I'm like Okay, and I'm doing my best to follow along where I'm at, so I walk up to the street, a little closer to the cell towers, and I'm like, okay, and I'm following along with what he's saying, and my wife follows me, and um, I go, so I'm, as this person's telling me of their network outage, like severe network outage, now mind you, it's a weekend, so I'm like, dude, I'm out of town, I'm like a minimum of two hours away from home, um, you know, thankfully I'm not any farther from home, and, uh, and I do have a laptop, but I have no internet, you know, and there's no way I'd be able to hook my phone up to it and use the phone's internet capabilities to, you know, like do any type of remote support, it just wouldn't happen, so I'm like, you know, I'm sitting there like, okay, um, well, you do know that I'm a minimum of two hours from home, if I was to leave right now, it would take me two hours from now to get there, Plus, you know, probably a good 10 minutes to get my computer and everything booted up and get get situated and get you on the phone. And he's five hours away from there. So he's in southern Illinois. And I'm like, uh, you know, you know, can you call somebody? He's like, you are my phone call. I'm like, oh, man. So my wife, she's like, she types. We, we have text messaging. So she text messages or she types in the text message box grab the laptop and go to McDonald's. And I'm like, well, yeah, they have free Wi-Fi. And uh, I'm like, well, I can do, there's a McDonald's right down the road. I can jump in my car, hop in there. But it's, it's 9 o'clock at night. Their lobby closes in like two hours or an hour. So 
I'm like, I don't think they're, and then I'm, uh, then she's like, nope, there are 24 hours, you can be there all night. And I'm like, um, and the next question he asks, how much do you charge? I'm like, how much do I charge? I'm like, um, that's kind of hard to say. I mean, I usually don't have to worry about that. I, you know, most of my clients, I'm, you know, on a, a set payment. You know, I come in, I have an hour, set hourly, uh, set hourly rate that I charge them. And that's pre-negotiated, you know, before we're in a crisis. You know, this guy is in a full-blown crisis. So he goes, well, okay, um, name your price. I don't care. I'm like, um, okay. So I, uh, my wife brings me the laptop and, a, and puts the mouse inside of my backpack and hands my backpack to me and she goes, go. I'm like, we're, we're, on, we're like away from, t-. she's like, I don't care, go. So my kids, they're like, Dad, don't go. And my wife goes, you know what? Your dad's doing what he does best. So I jump in the car. I drive to McDonald's, which is, like I said, like five minutes down the road. I walk in there. I set my laptop up, and I'm booting up, and I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi. And I said, do you have a way to VPN? You know, because I had any Connect VPN client on my, on my laptop for doing remote support securely. He goes, no, we don't use VPNs here. I'm like, oh, no. You know, I'm like, well, the only other option we have is SSH. And I'm like, do you have a remote desktop client that I can, you know, I'm, finally I decided to go, I use TeamViewer. And I TeamViewered in to his computer, which, you know, provides a, like a VPN structure. It's not quite the same as a VPN, but it provides secure connection through the Internet. And uh, so he's, you know, especially when you're dealing with somebody else's private networks, you don't want to be... St- streaming their information through an unsecured network. So I'm looking around and making sure no one's watching what I'm doing. And so I've got him on the phone. I plug my phone into the laptop, and I've got my laptop plugged into um, the, the, the plug that's there on the wall. I'm sitting there. My wife shows up a few minutes later. She's got the truck, and she you know she comes up, and she sits there with my uh, my four-year-old. And, you know, of course, McDonald's has the play area. That's open 24 hours a day. And so she's sitting there. And uh, I go, what are you doing here? She says, well, I'm going to, she's like, you're, I don't want you to be here all by yourself. I'm like, well, you don't have to be here. So she, um, we're sitting there and I found, I put the, I put my uh, earbud, plugged it in because I want to hold my phone up to my ear my, the entire time. And I'm sitting there talking to him. So she's sitting next to me. She's watching me work. And the guy has got a total network outage. Well, I'm going to save you the rest of the story. I mean, I've been talking for about 10 minutes now already, and I haven't even begun to, to talk about what's going to happen and what's on your screen. But I finally get to where the problem sits, and he's got BGP routes between his two networks. So in, in effect, um, he's got this network over here goes out to the Internet. He's got Internet. He's got BGP peering with the ISP. But the drawback is he's not advertising the right routes to BGP. So I'm like, oh, well, there's your problem. And so after about 45 minutes talking to him, and he's on a conference call with a couple other people, and he's, I'm asking him a question. He's asking his network people what's going on. I'm like, can you conference me in? You know, Can we bridge the call? And he's like, no, I can only have uh, a three-way call. I'm like, that's what we need. And he's like, well, uh, I can't. So finally, he calls me back from his desk phone. And so he's like, he's freaking out. And uh, he doesn't own the company, but he's like the senior person. You know, he's, got, he's the highest level escalation in the company. And anything that goes beyond him, you know, it's on him. So if I make a mistake, it's his, it's his, it's his job. So, yeah, you don't make changes and uh, intentionally screw people up. You know, I'm on Cisco's website. Actually, you know, what's kind of funny is uh, because of the fact that I brought the laptop, my wife ended up bringing me a second monitor. So I've got, no, here I'm at McDonald's. It's like 11.30 at night. I've got two monitors going. I'm on my laptop. I'm making changes. I'm going over here. I've got the Internet pulled up on the other screen. I'm doing, you know, HTTPS connections. And, you know, this, uh, <laughs> it's funny because a couple people that were walking, they were sitting there, they're looking over my shoulder, and I'm like, you know, you sh- look it over my shoulder like you shouldn't be watching what I'm doing. And but what do you do? You know, you you don't have any choice but to do what you got to do to get the person up. So um, I finally it took me about two and a half hours, and I finally got their their routes propagating. 
and they have uh, uh, MPLS layer three VPNs going between their sites. And I finally realized, you know, I had to actually email my instructor because he deals. He's a CCIE, and I emailed him. And thankfully, the guy he's two hours behind me, so he was up and doing his thing. I, I emailed him. I said, "Hey, Brian, I have a major problem." And you know, he he fired back what to do. And I go, "I've got this. Is my situation. Can you help me?" And short of him remoting in himself and doing it, he told me, you know, he gave basically copy and pasted commands and said, here, put this in the router, this will fix it. And, you know, it was true. I, yeah, I copied and pasted those commands into the router and up the router came. I was like, I fired by this, dude, you are a freaking lifesaver. Because I didn't know what to do. I'm not a CCIE, I'm studying for my CCMP. So, obviously, I wasn't the best person to call, but at least I could facilitate the fix. And that was the thing. So that, that's one of the things that uh, some people, um, you need to be able to, to work in a stressful situation. You know, that's most of the time when you're a network person, that is the situation you're going to face. You're going to be in one of those situations where you get somebody that's like, they are freaking out. You know, the, you might get a CIO that's calling you, and they're not technical. They just know what's uh, the different types of uh, technologies that are out there. And all they do is they, they're the go-between the CEOs, accounting, and like some other BUs of the company. And then they deal with the technical side of it. They say, okay, do this. You know, so he was like at his wit's end. And I told I had to re keep reassuring, okay, do it. it's going to work out. I should just give me some time. They were so stressed by the time they got done. The dude was crying when I got off the phone with him. I go, I'm going to let you go now. And he's sitting there and goes, oh, my God, you saved my job, da 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 The next day it comes, and the owner of the company called me and wanted to uh, uh, personally, uh, personally thank me for taking the time out of my schedule to and family time to um, help him get through his situation. I said, that's no problem at all. So paycheck was pretty nice too. So um, I'm going to cut the video there because I just wanted to show uh, – give you that story of this kind of like uh, man down and you've got to do what you got to do to get it up. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.